Hey guys, what's up? Red Panda Mining here. How are y'all doing? All right, guys. In this video, I just want to talk about GPUs and basically new GPUs that are going to be possibly coming out in the next while. So I'll be talking about Nvidia and AMD. So Nvidia. Uh, this is a news article on TweakTown.com. I read uh, Nvidia could tease its next-gen Ampere GPU on seven nanometer at GTC 19. So GTC is NVIDIA's uh, GPU technology conference, and that's going to be happening on March 18th to 21st. So that's going to happen in a few days as of making this video. So we'll see an announcement on this new Ampere technology. And I'm curious because for us miners, it makes an interesting ploy because... Uh, 7 nanometer, right? Uh, as you guys know, their GPUs now is 12 nanometer. So if we think about it, it possibly could be a 40 or 60 percent bump in performance, uh, compute performance for mining. Very possible. I'm just, it's just a rumor I'm putting it out there. Uh, this new architecture for NVIDIA uh, could be interesting, but as you guys saw in the RTX cards, they are profitable to some extent. It depends which coins you're mining and how much research you're doing. A lot of people say it's not profitable, but it actually is <laughs> if you do your research. So uh, yeah, just telling you guys, NVIDIA will probably have some news about a new GPU. And of course, they're competing with AMD. And as you guys know, with AMD, they are talking about their new Navi seven nanometer uh as that could be you know amd's next big card right that could compete with um actually will probably compete only with the rtx cards so who knows that's just all rumors right now so yeah guys going back talking about it um nvidia basically competing like another higher tier against amd again so as you guys know AMD is probably, they don't have any announcements of Navi yet, so uh, NVIDIA will be taking control in a couple days probably, announcing their new their new card. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. Okay, uh, guys, next up I'm going to talk about AMD. So you guys know we have the old RX Vegas 56 and 64s. And I'm sure a lot of you have them and you're mining with them right now. And those are 14 nanometers. And my hopes and dreams, and of course probably all of you as well, with Navi possibly coming up in the middle of the middle of this year, uh, the seven nanometer with it being, you know, a lot more possibly a lot more efficient. Uh, but as you guys saw with the Radeon 7, the Radeon 7 nanometer, uh, Vega that the performance the compute performance and hash rates and mining all that stuff was kind of a bummer not not that great but it is it is pretty cool at what what numbers they are getting on that card if you if you take out the the price of the card and just forget about it then uh, the performance of it is actually it's pretty amazing but the the watts, uh, the wattage of it is is pretty high. It's pretty high. You guys probably saw some benchmarks of it already. Okay, so on an article on WCCF Tech, there is a rumor. Obviously, the RX GPU 66AF colon F1, which is I believe code name for Navi. Uh, it's going to be faster in graphics throughput, but slightly behind in compute workloads. Rumored, rumored. So, uh, the Navi will apparently come with 20 compute units, uh, which would amount to 1280 stream processors. Uh, just a rumor; it's not, it's not, it's not full uh, set in stone. Now, if we go back here, down here through the article, you can see comparing the Navi versus an RX 580. We can see that the you can see in their FPS numbers here that the Navi is up around 20 frames per second. 
and off screen about 118 FPS. So I would say it's about a good 20% bump in performance and graphics. They said that in compute benchmarks, however, the card is almost similar to a Radeon RX 580, which is what we had been expecting since AMD Navi GPUs was tailored made for maximum graphics and gaming performance rather than compute horsepower. So there, that right there is kind of a downer. If we, we're not expecting it to be very good for mining, uh, these guys, are, I guess, are expecting that. Who knows? We won't know until the card is actually out and people do benchmarks on it. I Obviously, these guys are not, AMD is not making cards for miners. And if that's the case, we, we're, we're all sticking with the uh, existing cards that we can buy now, right? Uh, RX 470s, RX 580s, and the price point for them used right now is pretty good. And with the market, guys, it's interesting to think that, in my opinion, not financial advice, all that stuff, it's it's a low point right now to buy used 580s and 570s, in my opinion. You can buy them for really cheap, and the profitability that you, you can get from them right now is, is it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And if the market was to go back up, then your profitability is going to be substantially even high, like even higher. So, um, I'm telling you guys, my 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 plan right now is to. I think I'm going to be buying AMD cards in the next bit, and uh, so there. I'm going to go back to the Navi announcement. So, with the Ryzen seven nanometer RX, uh. 3000 series cards and the Ryzen 3000 series and X57 570 chipset they are ca- targeting to release for July 7th. Uh, so 7 nanometer July 7th which is 7 and then on the day number 7 get it guys 777 <laughs> They're they're planning that for sure. They're planning that for sure. <laughs> so this is reported on notebookcheck.notebookcheck.net that the AMD is expected to uh, release all that stuff on July 7th. And they're going to be announcing that probably at Computex in June, which is happening in June, uh, in Taiwan. So expect that to happen. I'm expecting that to happen. So keep watch, guys. And uh, yeah, 7 nanometer for AMD. Uh, okay, guys, one last thing I want to talk about is AMD launches China-only Radeon RX 560 XT. Now, RX 560, and then they have an XT. Now, this is only going to be available in China, apparently, and uh, they it's based on the Polaris architecture, which is the 580-570s. And as you can see here, they will have 28 compute units. 28 versus the regular RX 560 which has 14 to 16 compute units and uh, this will have a lot more stream processing processors so it's 1792 uh, texture units will have double than the original 560 and ROPS will have double the base clock looks like it's a bit down and boost clock is a little bit down and memory clock is also apparently down. But they're getting more texture units and ROPs and compute units and all that kind of stuff. So uh, as well, a, a big noticeable one is that the memory bus width is going to be 256 bit. So that versus 128. So about double the, the bus width weight, uh, width memory width. So that's going to be pretty good. And then it'll come between 4 to 8 gigabytes of RAM, of VRAM which is interesting. It will be, I wonder if it'll be good for mining. <laughs> uh, but this will be only released in China, so I don't think we're going to be getting into North America, obviously. And the launch date for it is 2019 on the 13th. So that's that happened a few days ago. <laughs> and I'm just reading this announcement now, so that's pretty cool, pretty interesting. I don't know why they're making it. Um... 
I'm 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 going to say because they have extra uh, Polaris chipsets uh, chips and they are just making these and um, uh, in China as you know the gaming industry is huge for gamers so this card will probably do very well for playing simple games like Dota and League of Legends or Counter Strike you know all those kind of like games that are uh, mass massively uh, adopted and a lot of kids play so could be a really good price point for 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 this card and with the graphical horsepower that it'll it'll pump out for gaming it'll be probably pretty pretty good okay guys well that's all I really want to talk about uh, the Navi announcements and the uh, ampere Nvidia ampere 7 nanometer uh, it's it's gonna be an interesting time this year and but how it'll affect us miners we don't know you know with the RX Navi the Navi 7 nanometer uh, Vega that kind of di was a disappointment in my opinion I mean if the price was better uh, I would I'm all for it but the price point is is kind of eh. and you know the hash rates that we get it's it's pretty high it's pretty cool but I'm 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 looking for that you know middle ground you know we're all looking for that good price point middle ground for us miners to have good efficiency good price point and we you know you want we want to have that ROI but if you guys are speculative mining and eh, that doesn't matter anyway so just my opinion guys um, are we looking are we looking for a bull run in the next while I'm I'm pretty hopeful. The market right now and the overall mentality and feeling right now in the whole space to me is is pretty pretty positive it's coming up slowly Alt altcoins are coming back uh, as you can see here the beat uh, Bitcoin dominance is going lower and lower so the altcoins are kind of coming back so if you guys were speculative mining it's probably really good for you right now and as you guys know, with Bitcoin dominance back in the high time of the uh, of the uh, bull run when Bitcoin went to twenty thousand, Bitcoin dominance was only at like thirty seven percent dominance, and the altcoins were seventy percent or something like that. So, yeah, I'm keeping that all in mind. I'm I'm doing a lot of research myself and looking up a lot of stuff, just thinking what the future holds, and yeah, let me know what you guys think down below, and please like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I appreciate all of you. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.